Good afternoon and welcome to Williams Dog Training Company. We're here today with Chrissy and Snoop and we're going to be demonstrating for you today is Snoop's ability to understand and respond to his obedience commands, the corrections and motivations we give him while we're working with him, and the training equipment that we're using. <clears throat> Chrissy is using a regular six foot web training leash and she's going to keep the bulk of that leash folded neatly in her right hand, leaving her left hand free to give the correction. The correction that we give is a tug and let go to the training collar, which is the second piece of equipment that we're using. Snoop has been fitted with his own personal training collar and we'll show you how to properly use this during your one-on-one -on -one lesson. As you can see, Snoop is seated nicely on Chrissy's left, which is where all our obedience training is done. The first command they're going to demonstrate is healing, which is proper walking on a leash. Chrissy and Snoop take off doing that now. The command you want to use for this is Snoop Heal, and then you just start walking and he'll fall right in line on your left-hand side. And we've also gone ahead and incorporated our automatic sit into this. So anytime Chrissy stops her feet, Snoop will sit. There's that automatic sit. It's important when you're healing Snoop that he walks nicely at your pace on your left hand side without trying to pull ahead or lag behind. If he did attempt to pull ahead or lag behind, you say no, give a tug and let go correction to the training collar, repeat your command to heal, and then start walking again. The next command they're going to demonstrate is our stay command, which is a hand and voice command. Chrissy will use the open flat of her left palm an inch or so from Snoop's muzzle and the one word command to stay. She walks out to the end of the training leash. This is a good exercise to build up self-control in Snoop. You want to start practicing this one at about a minute's time and work your way up in increments until you get to about three minutes. Now as Chrissy returns back to Snoop, she's going to walk all the way around him, providing an added distraction as she goes behind him, and right back to that left-hand side heel position. He holds that sit-stay throughout. She gives him some praise and then heals him right out of it. And we'll show you a little more of the heel sit and stay. There's that automatic sit. And they come back around, another sit. Stay. Gives them the stay again. Back out to the end of that training leash. Now this time instead of returning back to Snoop, she'll demonstrate the come or recall command. Snoop, come. Calls him in using his name. He comes, sits right in front of her. And then we have an exercise called the finish. Chrissy's going to heel Snoop right around the back of her and right back to that left hand side heel position and he sits. Nicely stay. done. She'll demonstrate the recall one more time. She has him in the sit, gives him a stay out to the end of that training leash. Snoop, Calls him into her. He comes in, sits right in front. And then the finish, she heals him right around the back of her and gets him right back to that left hand side heel position and he sits. Nicely done. Now this is a good time to remind you you want to practice all your commands with Snoop, about 15 to 20 minutes a day. You can practice inside or outside your home and just incorporate the commands into your daily routine with him. And you see he did try to jump up there, so she said no, gave him a slight correction, repeated her command to heal, and started walking again. Next we'll show you our down commands. The first is down from a heel position. Chrissy's going to use the open flat of her left palm straight down to the ground and the one word firm command to down. Down. Stay. She gives him a stay, walks out to the end of that training leash. Now this is another great exercise to build up that self-control in Snoop. This one you can start practicing at about three minutes and work your way up until you get to about five in increments. Now as she returns back to him, she's going to walk all the way around him as she did on the sit stay and right back to that left hand side heel position. Holds it down throughout. She gives him some praise and heals him right out of it. And you see he's doing very well, but if for any reason he does not respond to one of your commands, it's always important to follow through. So the first word out of your mouth would always be no, followed by a tug and let go correction to his training collar, and then you repeat the command you'd given him. Now she's going to show you the down again. Stay. And stay. Walk back out to the end of that training leash. And this time she'll demonstrate that recall command right out of the down position. Snoop, Calls him in, comes in, sits right in front. And then the finish, she heals him right around the back of her and gets him right back to that left hand side heel position and he sits nicely. It will give them a second to get lined up for our final command, which will be down from a distance. This will be a down from a distance. You're going to have him in a sit, give him a stay, walk out to the end of your training leash. Now, this is the only time you use your right hand to give the command, and Chrissy will drop him into a down from the end of the training leash. No. 
down. See, he didn't go the first time, so she's going to repeat it. Like I said, it's always important to follow through with your commands. He does know them, but he might try to test you, so you have to say no. Give a tug and let go correction and repeat the command if he does. Alright, we've demonstrated for you our basic obedience commands that Snoop has learned here at school. It's been a pleasure working with Snoop, and we thank you again for choosing Williams Dog Training Company as your personal dog trainer.